radio silence more or less till you got to where you had to make the turn from uh, Fronau Beacon. You had to keep silent in case there was any emergency. So you'd get close to this Fronau Beacon, the navigators say were either over it or close to it. Then we'd call Gatow and then we'd be told to steer this and steer that to get into the landing position. So there was very little radio banter. On our behalf, but the Yanks did. I was telling Jim only half an hour ago. Um, normally, as Jim said, you called up 20 miles from Fronhau, Dakota 327, 20 miles from Fronhau, and that was it. You shut down. But this Yank wouldn't follow instructions, and he always called out, it ain't a bird, it ain't a bee, it ain't a fly, it ain't a flea. It's me, 233, 20 miles out. <laughs> And nobody could, he did it every time he made a trip. 